Back half of the season underway now, EA. Give me two Jets that you're looking at. Michael Carter, do it all back for the New York Jets. And then on the defensive side of the ball, Jermaine Johnson. He's going to take off in the second half. Welcome to the Two Minute Drill, presented by HCL Tech Jets Patriots Week 11 at Foxborough. EA, this is a rematch from a couple weeks ago, and the Jets have a chance at redemption right out of the bye week. Yeah, they let, they feel like they let one slip away that first meeting. They did so many things well. They had six sacks of Mac Jones, 13 tackles for loss. They won a yardage battle by nearly 100 yards. They limited the Patriots to just 3.8 yards per play, but turnovers did them in. Zach Wilson was intercepted three times, including two by Devin McCourty. When Wilson has protected the football this year, the Jets have won. In fact, he is 5-1 and one as a starter. He's looking for a sixth win in 2022. And four of those games, he has not had any interceptions. The Jets have more weapons around him than Mac Jones has in New England. Uh, Garrett Wilson has got a very good chemistry going with Zach Wilson, the quarterback, and Elijah Moore. We're going to see him play more in the slot yeah, this week. I will also say that when the Jets played the Patriots, they ran a season low 15 times against the Bills. They ran a season high 34 times, and we saw how that impacted Zach Wilson, who completed a career-high 72% of his passes against the Bills. But for the Jets this weekend, when you, whenever you play New England and Bill Belichick, you can't do the little things wrong. Little things. You got to take care of special teams. The Patriots clearly won that facet of the game uh, back when these two teams met in week eight. And then you have to seize the moment when the Jets had a lead late in that first half in the first meeting, 10 to 3. It looked like Michael Carter, the second, had a pick six, but it was called back because of roughing the passer penalty. You can't have self inflicted wounds against the Patriots. There are three guys the Jets have to contain this week. Ramondre Stevenson, he had 143 total yards in that first meeting. He's becoming more of a threat out of the backfield. CJ Mosley is going to be on him a lot. Mosley had 13 tackles in that first meeting. McCourty, the savvy veteran safety who had the two picks in the first meeting. Zach Wilson has to be sure. He knows exactly where McCourty is each and every play. And then Matthew Judon, 11 and a half sacks. I thought the Jets did a great job on him in that first meeting. And they did do a great job. Matt Judon coming off a game where he had three sacks, leads the league in sacks, to your point. And so for the Jets this weekend, obviously it's a big game considering the Jets haven't won in Foxborough in the regular season since 2008. But also, in terms of the 2022 season, this could have big implications. Well, you have an opportunity to move to 7-3 and three and at least have a share of first place in the AFC East at the latest point in the season since 2010. That's the last time the New York Jets made the playoffs. And if you do win this game, you create two games of separation between yourselves and the Patriots. The Patriots are looking at this game conversely and saying, hey, we already have a win against you guys. If we can beat the Jets, we'll both have a six and four record. The Jets also have an opportunity to get a seventh win inside the AFC and sixth win overall out of their last seven games. This team is rolling as we start the second half of the season, eight games remaining. And we'll see how it all plays out Sunday in Foxborough as week 11 is underway.